This time, we are going to solve for a specific initial point of a non-zero vector u, which is represented by pq, and use given uh, using this given situations. The first one is the vector u has the same direction as the vector v with the components 4, negative 2, and negative 1. Here, we have the same terminal point, which is at q, uh, 3, 0, and negative 5. If you have the same terminal point and vector u has the same direction as, vert, uh, as vector v, and we're looking for the initial point, one of the possible situations here that we can say is that vector u is equal to your vector v. Why is that so? Because we will have the same terminal point. Okay? In uh, R3, we have the same terminal point, and vector u and vector v has the same direction. Okay? And we're solving for the initial point. So we could say it like that. This would mean that the components of vector u is also for negative 2 and negative 1. Okay? This is now the, com the component of vector u. The, why do we um, consider this? Because we are solving for um, the initial point. And we know that for um, vector u, let's just say for vector u without using the values, and since we are on R3, this is a result of x sub 2 minus x sub 1, y sub 2 minus y sub 1, and then z sub 2 minus z sub 1. Where um, the x sub 2, y sub 2, and y sub 2 are for your terminal point, and x sub 1, y sub 1, and z sub 1 are for your initial point. Now that we are given here that we have a terminal point of 3, 0, and negative 5, this is your x sub 2, y sub 2, and z sub 2. So using the same value or same components for the vector v because u has the same direction as v and of course we have the same terminal point, one of the possible results here is this. 4, negative 2, negative 1 is equal to you have 3 minus x sub 1. We used already the components of our terminal point. You have 0 minus y sub 1. And you have negative 5 minus z sub 1. Using the equality of vectors, we can say that 3 minus x sub 1 is equal to 4. Then 0 minus y sub 1 is negative 2. And then negative 5 minus z sub 1 is negative 1. This would mean that our result here, okay, um, making it, move it here to make it positive and move it there so 3 minus 4 and by symmetric property x sub 1 is equal to negative 1 okay next is again to move it here to make it positive in here as well and by symmetric property y sub 1 is 2 or positive 2 and same thing here move it here to become positive move it here so we have positive z sub 1 by symmetric property, negative 5 plus 1, you'll have negative 4. So one of the possible initial point for the non-zero vector u represented by this situation is, um, let's call it p, right? We're solving for p because that's p, q. So your p has uh, the uh, coordinates of negative 1, 2, and negative 4. Why do we use p? Because we describe here vector u as pq. So this is the same process in uh, considering for the next item, but it should be noted that for the next situation, vector u is oppositely directed to v. Okay? When you say oppositely directed, we can say that vector u is equal to the negative of vector v or vice versa. This would mean that the components of vector u here is the negative one, or we have a uh, negative one there, of your components of vector v4, negative two, and negative one. So vector u okay, has um, components four, I'm sorry, it's already negative four, 
positive 2 and positive 1. Okay? Because this is what we mean when you say oppositely directed. We have uh, the negative of it. So, again, we can now represent now our vector u as the result of x sub 2 minus x sub 1, y sub 2 minus y sub 1, then z sub 2 minus z sub 1. Here, the terminal point is 3, 0, 5, negative 5 as well. Again, this is your x sub 2, y sub 2, and z sub 2 being it as the terminal point. So we can now use here the components of u, negative 4, 2, and 1, is equal to 3 minus x sub 1, 0 minus y sub 1, and negative 5 minus z sub 1. Okay? So next, you will have the equality of your vectors. So you have 3 minus x sub 1 is negative 4. The next, 0 minus y sub 1 is 2. Next, negative 5 minus z sub 1 is 1. Again, move it there, move it there. Uh, I am doing this to make the x sub 1, y sub 1, and z sub 1 later positive. And by symmetric property, x sub 1 is 3 plus 4, that's 7. Next, move it there, move it here. So your y sub 1 by symmetric property is negative 2. And finally, move it here, move it there. Positive z sub 1 by symmetric property, negative 5 minus 1, negative 6. So one of the possible answers for your term, uh, rather initial point for the, the vector u with uh, this specific component, uh, let's say, again, this is, we're looking for initial point, so as declared earlier, it's pq, so let's use p, has the components 7, negative 2, and negative 6. Again, this is just one of the possible answers for this situation, and here as well. We're able to solve for the initial point, understanding the concept of two vectors going in the same direction and opposite direction. Thank you for watching.